Namaskaram. In this Agni initiative, we are going to explore all about Ekadashi and how you can benefit by fasting on this particular day. So Ekadashi is the 11th day in the lunar cycle and this comes, Ekadashi comes once in 14 days. So traditionally it was considered that fasting on this day can bring tremendous benefits to the person who attempts fasting. So how can this benefit and uh, what is the science behind this? Let's look at this. So Sadhguru was mentioning about this that um, there are few days uh, in, a, in a mandala. A mandala means with a period of 40 to 48 days. So there are at least three days in a mandala where if you are aware about your own body, you will see that you will not require food on those days. And if you become aware of these days when the body does not demand food, and if you can go without food on those days, then it can bring a tremendous sense of health and well-being to your system. And eating food on those days when your body is not demanding food is not a good thing to do. So since people didn't have this awareness, traditionally they fixed this day called as Ekadashi which comes once in 14 days in the lunar cycle. So the simplest way uh, in which you can make use of this is by fasting every Ekadashi. So at the Isha center, uh, how this fast is kept is that for example if tomorrow is Ekadashi, then uh, tonight you have dinner and you do not have anything after that and you break your fast tomorrow by having dinner. So basically you are fasting for 24 hours which means like from today after having dinner and then you break your fast tomorrow on Ekadashi night by having dinner. So 24 hours you are fasting and during this period you can have water. Water is not an issue but you can avoid everything else. So this is the ideal way to fast and that's how it's kept at the Isha Yoga Center. But if this is something which is difficult for you, if you are not able to sustain with just water, then it's recommended to have something which is lighter to digest. For example, fruits. You can go on a fruit diet. So you can have fruits and uh, if you wish, you can also have like Ashgard juice. Ashgard, as you know, is a highly positive pranic substance. So you can even have Ashgard juice. And if you also know about Amla or Nelekai or the Indian gooseberry, that is also very beneficial uh, on fasting days. If you can chew on an amla for about 3-4 hours, if you can chew on an amla, you will see that it can keep hunger at bay. Because what happens is when you are fasting, it can happen that your digestive juices can come into play. And then for some people, it may cause issues. So if you, have, if you put pulley in the stomach or sourness in the system, like for example when you chew on an amla then this is happening then this can be taken care of so if you wish you can make use of this support you can chew on an amla especially on ekadashi days otherwise if you can just manage if you're fine without this it's uh, it's perfectly fine to just stay with water so um, if uh, if you are if you are completely fine in terms of your health if you don't have any major chronic ailments and if you are not dependent on any stimulants, if you have not been abusing your body with any uh, nervous stimulants like tea, coffee, alcohol, if you have not been abusing your body with these uh, stimulants regularly, then you will notice that fasting will be something which you can do quite easily. But if you have been abusing your body with a lot of nervous stimulants, then uh, it may be difficult for you to fast. So, uh, so it's, it's good that you prepare your system sufficiently so that you can attempt fasting easily. So there are many ways you can prepare your system. You can see how to adapt a yogic diet by eating, uh, by eating foods which are beneficial and which are e easy to digest by eating at least 50% raw food, by chewing each morsel at least 24 times. So you can go through the previous Agni initiatives for more details about that. And uh, if you implement all these initiatives and prepare your body sufficiently, you will see that maybe it's difficult for you to fast for the first time. But over a period of time, once you tend to fast every Ekadasi, you will notice that it will become much easier for you to fast. 
and how do you break the fast on ekadashi so even uh, even when you are breaking the fast it's good it's suggested that you have a lighter dinner on ekadashi and uh, you know uh, you can go for you know for example you can go for fruits you can go for porridges like kanji or uh, something which is lighter on the stomach in when boiled vegetables or you know uh, something on those lines which is lighter on the stomach so uh, we will share the link with you in terms of uh, suggested ekadashi menu at the isha center what they have been following so we can even share the link with you in the description below so you can go through that so anyone can make use of this um, there's no age limit if if you are able to do this fast and uh, follow all these guidelines then this is something you can make use of and uh, some people have this question that can they continue the fast by breaking the fast on the next day instead of having dinner on ekadashi night can they break their fast the subsequent day by having uh, you know uh, the meal in the morning so that's also okay if you wish to do that if you can sustain for more than 24 hours and if you wish to do that means completely not even eat on uh, have dinner on ekadashi so that's also fine and some people have this question that can they uh, even skip water for 24 hours so that's something again uh, this is not something which sadguru uh, specifically mentioned not to have water but if it comes to you like this that very naturally you can do without water and uh, you know effortlessly you can stay without that you don't feel the need for drinking water then it should be fine but it's not necessary for you to push your system to uh, reach this state and it's very important that you fast consciously especially if you are doing the yogic practices which you have learned you will see that fasting will be much more easier for you especially a lot of people have told us that just on ekadashi day they find fasting very effortless so it's very important to continue doing your sadhana that will make fasting much more easier and also this is not the day to take rest and to just sit at home and not do anything physical activity because you are fasting so uh, this is not just a opportunity for you to cleanse your system fasting has tremendous health benefits and uh, nowadays a lot of research is happening and where people have understood the benefits of fasting they have understood why it's as important to not eat and give your body a break on certain days just as how important it is to eat in the right manner so not eating food is as important as eating the right food so they have understood this and uh, nowadays there's a huge uh, topic of discussion going on about intermittent fasting which means giving the body enough gap you know having at least 10 to 12 hours gap between two meals and uh, doing this regularly so this was something which was uh, intuitively known because um, people uh, they observed their own systems yogis observed their own system and understood that it's very important to give the body a break on certain days so ekadashi was very much a part of our tradition in the yogic tradition and culture and even if you have you know, grandparents at home you must have noticed that on ekadashi they usually fast but this awareness is gradually diminishing so it's time we bring this back and all of you can see if you can make use of this day and fast and as we looked at it's important that you continue doing your activity because this is not only an opportunity for your health and well being but also for you to grow spiritually so one more important benefit of fasting is that it can strengthen you tremendously for example if you are fasting and you still go through all the activity which you need to do whether it's your work office home or whatever else you are doing if you can continue with that and not give it a break and still do it uh, in spite of being on a fast you will see that this will strengthen you tremendously when people uh, when you, when you see that food is in front of you and still you are able to keep up this commitment of not having food it will strengthen you tremendously in many ways and most importantly it's also important for you to feel to have to you know what it means to be in hungry to be hungry because uh, as you know so many people in this world uh, are not even able to have two square meals a day and it's important for us at least to feel for them and to understand that you know what it is to be hungry so uh, ekadashi has many benefits you know so it's not just for your health and well being that is definitely that can definitely happen but it can be a huge opportunity for you to grow spiritually so uh, please make use of this opportunity and uh, we also have a support system for those who want to make use of this we have a whatsapp broadcast group where we send reminders about ekadashi 
a few days before and we also support people if they have any queries about ekadashi on how to fast and also by sharing experiences of different people on how they have fasted this has inspired many people to start fasting who have never ever fasted before so we have this support group we'll share the link how to join this uh, broadcast list in the description below so you can make use of this if you wish to along with this we also send daily yogic updates uh, which can benefit you so see how you can make use of this and uh, fast on this particular day namaskar If you eat food and your body feels very agile and alive that means it's good food body is liking it if you eat something it feels dull that means it's not liking it it's having difficulty with it that's why it feels dull Namaskaram for those of you looking to explore about food in depth We also have an online program on food called as Ahar. So we have a website called as ahar.yogire.com, which will have more details about this program. If you are looking uh, to grow on the path of yoga, then food is as important as sadhana. So it's very important that you uh, see what kind of foods to eat, which can assist you in this inner journey, and uh, more importantly, also how to eat. So we'll be looking at this in depth in this online program and this can be done from the comfort of your home from wherever you are you can log in and do this program so uh, if you ex- if you wish to explore this in depth please uh, log in to our ahar website and you can see if this is something which can help you take a step towards your inner growth and uh, we hope that the simple process of eating can also become a stepping stone towards your academic life thank you so much namaskaram everyone welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing good so i hope most of your ekadashi queries are solved with this video but we'll still be updating more videos on this playlist so definitely check it out i would like to share my own experience with ekadashi in this video like uh, uh, even though i had completed inner engineering i was not into fasting and all i had never fasted in my life to be truthful and that's when i came across mukulana and i started you know talking about him about ekadashi and i started reading an articles and i decided okay why not you know i will also try this out so i am the kind of person like initially i didn't go full out on it like uh, i was like i won't be able to do it so what i did was i ate fruits i ate a lot of fruits during uh, initial fasting days and used to drink a lot of water i used to eat a lot of cashew nuts and all that but slowly slowly i started you know reducing it and uh, now it has come to a place where i can effortlessly take the ekadashi fast like 24 hours sometimes when i'm doing a lot of activity it becomes a little hard so i drink uh, some kind of juice fruit juice or something but what it has given me is this idea um, i mean this internal you know capability of saying no to food like i am someone you know who you, if you follow me on instagram you will see that i go to a lot of weddings and all so i travel outside the country and uh, not outside the country inside the country only like when i travel to other states um, so during weddings a lot of food is being served okay, a lot of food and uh, in order to you know to do my sadhana and to eat all this food it is not at all possible So when I go for such weddings I just have one meal per day like one heavy meal that's it because I have to you know do my sadhana so this ability that I can say no to food like that I know that my body can easily you know perform at its peak performance just by having one meal so wherever I travel food never comes in my way of doing my practices and that has been an enormous support for me like since I eat just one meal per day I have lot of time to you know do my practices because my sadhana is very important for me and uh, this compulsion towards food it has come down a lot just because of taking this fast is the a very idea because it is experientially a reality within me since i have taken so many fast i know that my body is capable of you know working uh, just with one meal per day so i know a lot of confusion is regarding when is the ekadashi dates So I would suggest that you would check your regional calendars. Like uh, in Kerala, we have Malayalam Manu or Mamathu Bhumi calendars. I'm quite sure in all states they have their calendars. So in that, Ekadashi will be clearly mentioned. So, so sometimes it might be one or uh, two days. I think one day difference will come. I get a lot of queries on now. Uh, like whenever whenever I post that today is Ekadashi, then people say no, no. 
day after tomorrow in my calendar is day after tomorrow or something like that so what i personally use is i use the isha calendar so if you can buy this from isha life so you can see like amavasya purnima shivaratri ekadashi is all like mentioned in this can you see this yeah so you can see and you can get this from isha life so you can get a lot of nice sadguru pictures also see with sadguru quotes so i personally use this calendar and uh, it has helped me so you can also buy this if you want yep so that's it guys uh, definitely check out mukulana's uh, page on uh, youtube at yogi ray his instagram uh, if you can definitely go for the ahar program which will be a tremendous support for you you will get a lot of recipes also in the program and um, yeah i would definitely love you guys to check out my uh, podcast because there are very personal interviews with hatha yoga teachers i take they go in depth into their life something that uh, in youtube it's a bit you know i'll be trying to post this podcast on my youtube also but definitely check out my podcast on spotify anchor app and uh, wherever you can also i would this is only for people like if you if you want to support me like uh, please download tiktok and you can find like one minute clips of which uh, of mine which you can download and share on your whatsapp and instagram status it will be enormous uh, support for me because it is mostly regarding sadguru and inner engineering content please if you feel tiktok is a chinese app it is beyond security please do not download it but those of who of you who are comfortable with it and who do not worry about such things please download the tiktok app sadguru is there in it also so you can download sadguru videos from with sadguru page my page and if you could you know put it in your instagram story whatsapp story it would be a tremendous support for me so i hope you guys have a great day don't forget to subscribe to the channel give a like or dislike it's up to you <laughs> why am i singing but take care guys hope you guys have a great day namaskaram